Okay, let's have a look at the uh, GUI application we've created so far with Python and GTK. Run the script. Oh, it's open on the wrong window. There we go. So um, we have a window here, and we have three buttons. Uh, we have a button that hides the first button, the button that shows the second button, and the first button exits the program. Prints a message before it exits. It's going to run that. Centers, hide, show, exit. One more time, hide, shows, exit. Okay, today we're going to be doing something relatively simple. We're going to be adding some tool tips and we're going to title our window. Let's start by titling our window. So I'm going to go into my text editor and uh, I'm going to, you can put this pretty much anywhere in here, but it's good to stay organized. I am going to put it up here with pretty much the rest of my main window settings. I'm going to say self window. That's our window object, our main window. And we're going to say set title. And then inside a pair of parentheses, we're going to do a pair of quotations. And whatever you want to type inside that title bar, we'll say this is the title. We'll run it again. And you can see now it says this is the title. And uh, if you remember before, all it said was the name of the program, which was win.py. So let's go in. Oh, we'll exit out of that. Let's go in and edit it. We'll say this is my cool GTK window. And now it says, this is my cool GTK window. Now we're going to add some tool tips. And we'll add a tool tip for the first button here. I'll say self dot button one dot set. So because we're setting the tool tip and it's the tooltip text that we're setting. Once again, inside parentheses, we're going to have some quotations. And here you can type a message. Let's write this button will close this window. We'll save that. We'll run it. Program still looks the same, but when I hover my cursor over the exit button, we get a little tool tip that says this button will close this window. Once again, hover, there it is, and it does. You can also add a tool tip for the other buttons or the main window. So let's go back up here. Let's put a space here. I like to put spaces to uh, keep things organized. And I'm going to say self window dot set tool tip text and inside there we're going to write this is my GUI run it and you can see I'm hovering over the exit button it says this button will exit this window if I hover anywhere over the main window it says this is my GUI uh, we can also add new lines to that simply by using the new line uh, character, which is backslash n. I can say by metal x 1000. I can do another backslash and I'll say www.filmsbychris.com. Now, when I run the program, hover over the exit, it says the exit message. I hover over the window. Ooh, why didn't it, what did I do wrong? Let's have a look. Oh, 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 I wrote that in the title by accident. So it's actually wrote that there. That was my mistake. Let's go in and fix that. So we will just go and erase this. 
For those of you who didn't catch on the mistake I made, I put that in the title, not the tool tip. And you can't really have more than one line in the title bar, at least not as far as I know. So once again, we'll go backslash n by metal x123 backslash n for new line www.filmsbychris.com. Now I'll save that, we'll run it, and when I hover over the main window, there we go, we have three lines of text inside the tooltip. So that is tooltips and titles. Uh, thanks for watching and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Also visit filmsbychris.com forward slash forums to share code, questions, comments, ideas, just a place to get together. Also, if you want to do some live chatting, I have an IRC channel on Freenode. The channel is Films by Chris. And uh, there's a link for that in the description as well. If you don't have an IRC client, it is a web-based client at filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC. I look forward to hearing from you, talking to you, and making you more videos. Thanks for watching and visit filmsbychris.com.